Hey everyone, today we are going to see how to use Cloudinary to upload files from your application. Cloudinary is another platform just like AWS S3, but the difference is it is actually very minimized. That means you can use it for development or testing purposes. If you're building a solid product, you will be better off with AWS S3. So let's look into the code now. I have here a client side application which is built with React and the server side is built with Express application and I have both my servers running here. So the first thing we are going to see is just the procedure, the procedure for this application is first we let the user upload an image and that image will be converted into a base 64 string which we will push it to Cloudinary. That's the process, okay? So let's first create an input tag in our React application, okay? So this is just the app.js file within the React application and I'm just creating input uh, tag here and let's call the type as file and we need an handler, right? We need to keep track of what the file, what file the user upload uploaded and uh, handle file upload let's call this create this function here now to get the current file I can do something like constant file e dot target dot files so this is the current file that the user uploaded and to convert this file into a base 64 string I need some code right which I don't remember so I'll first go to the Google yeah, this one, got it. And uh, what we will do, we will first just copy paste this over here. And this will, this is the reader that we need, which will parse the data and then convert into a base 64 string. So we have the reader created here. We need the horn load end function. And then there is the reader dot result. And this is the reader dot data URL. We are going to read it as data URL. Now we need this reader dot reader result, which is the base 64 string of this file. Okay. So now what are we going to do is Let's first create a state variable outside and we'll call that preview because we need to preview what the user, what image the user uploaded, right? So here what we will do, set preview to uh, reader dot result. That's all. Uh, and then that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to see the preview of that image, I'll just source. Let's call the preview and then done. Now let's go to the browser and I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think there is any error so far. I'll upload some image. Let's upload this image and yeah, we are, we are able to see the preview. Got it. Now we need a button to actually send this base 64 string to the server side, right? So one more thing I want to show you here, uh, tell you here is uh, you can use just the React application to upload the file to Cloudinary or you can just use the server side application to upload it to Cloudinary. I'm using client plus server because this is how usually applications are built, right? You would have a client side and then you would have a server side and then you will send the file from client side to server side. So that is why I'm using uh, the client and server. Got it? Now I'll have a button here and then let's an handler function here which is to handle sending file send file okay and then let me just create that function here handle send file and we'll call this an asynchronous function because we are going to be using await right prevent default okay now we need to check if the preview is there or not okay if there is no preview there is no point in sending it to the server so we'll just return it and we need uh something to send it to server right i'll probably use axios so for that let me just first install axios npm on the client side npm install axios and then import the axios so by the time it's done i will have been imported this got it now i need to hold the response i'll just first wrap the following code in the catch block Now constant response await axios dot it's going to be a post request and then the URL is nothing but HTML local host slash 8000 slash upload. I will create this upload route in the server side in a few minutes. For now just understand there's going to be an endpoint like this and it's going to be a post request. And then we need to send something in the body, right? So what we're going to send image uh, URL, let's call this image URL and then we will paste this, we will place this preview field here. Okay, that's pretty much done. Let's console log the response. So 
super and then the server side is pretty much done here I mean the client side is pretty much done here let's move on to the server side so in our app server.js file we have a simple express server learning and we have an endpoint called slash upload got it so we are going to first fetch the url that we passed in the client side right which we called what we called it image url and we're going to get it in the request.body.image url so to get the image url in the requested body we have to use uh, we have to pass something in the middleware which is called express.json and let's just set the limit to the request body as 20 MB who guess and got it now the next step we need is let's wrap this in a catch block and this in this try block we are going to upload the uh, this image URL to cloud right for that we need the cloud configurations in our local application so what we'll do first go to the server folder and then create a new file called cloudinary.js okay and then here you have to import a package called v2 from Cloudinary. Since I have already installed Cloudinary, I'm not doing it again, but just go to the server side and then run the command npm install Cloudinary. Okay. After you do that, you will get the v2 here. And this is where you have to do v2 dot config. And there are a few uh, values you need to pass here, which is called API key. And then there is cloud name. And then there is what I think API secret. Yes, got it now. And then export this video. I mean, this B2. Now, where do we get this API key cloud name and the API secret for that? First, we'll go to the uh, Cloudinary website, just sign up for a free trial. And then you will be redirected to this uh, dashboard here. From there, just click on this programmable media icon and here you will find all the necessary configuration that you need, which is the cloud name, the API key, the API secret. Just copy this cloud name here. And paste it over here, click cloud name, and then you will have the API key. Paste it in the API key. And then you will have the API secret. Just paste it over here. That's all. That's pretty much it. The Cloudinary configuration is done. Now, what we need we need to import this on the server.js because we are using that Cloudinary v2 version to actually uh, upload files to Cloudinary. So require dot slash Cloudinary. That's all. And then in this upload section, this is where we are going to make the upload to Cloudinary. So before that, there is one more thing we need to do, which is when we are sending the file from um, client side from one application to another application, for, for us, it does client side to server side. We need, we need to enable something called course because it will throw the course error uh, saying that it is not accessible or something. So for that, require course. I've already installed the course package too. Just go to the server side and install the course package as well. Okay. In here, just pass the course function as the middleware here. You're done now. And then go to the upload function. And this is where you will actually make the upload. Constant cloudinary response equal to await cloudinary dot uploader dot upload and then this is where you will pass the image url which is the base 64 string and then in the option you can pass various things i'll pass the folder here the folder is going to be um the cloudinary name cloudinary demo so make sure you have created this cloudinary demo folder within the cloudinary uh the console okay in the cloudinary console i'll also show you how to do that and then also if you want a unique name unique file name what i'll do um i'll do something like new date dot to iso string and then let's call this image hyphen new date dot to iso string so this will be a unique url and there are various other properties as well if you go to the documentation you will find it i'll also attach the link down below now let's export this i mean this console of this to see if we can get the url and let's quickly wrap these above code within the try block. Okay, now let's go to refresh this page. Let's upload a file. Let's upload a simple file, okay? And then let's send this to our server. Let's see, hopefully it doesn't throw any error. Okay, unique file name image is not a valid boolean, okay? So it's showing, it is throwing us some error. 
Okay, let's just remove this unique file name and just call it um, whatever it is, okay? Yes, we've got it. Super, right? So we were able to upload the file to the Cloudinary and the secure URL is over here. So if we just, this is actually a public URL, sorry. If I just, uh, I can see the uploaded Cloudinary URL over here. And also if you go to the console and if you go to this media library, which is present over here, you will find your image within the folder that you created. This is the Cloudinary demo folder, right? And if I go here, I can find the image that I uploaded. Got it? This is exactly how you can upload images from your application to Cloudinary. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be making more similar tutorial kind of videos in the future. Stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.